Good evening. I'm bringing you another video tonight on my jewelry collection. This is going to be this jewelry box here, and it houses most of my silver, or I'm trying to get it to just house my silver. I do have a few other pieces in here, but mostly it's sterling silver things. Okay, so we're going to start with this cuff bracelet that I got oh, probably 30 years ago. I got it at a jewelry store called Sweeney's. It's a really thick cuff. It is by an American designer. and It's in a Southwestern or Native American motif. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's got some really pretty designs. It used to be pretty patinaed in here, almost blackened out. And I um, made the mistake one time of polishing it. And I regret it because it's just now getting back that rich patina it once had. It's a very, very cute bracelet that I've had for a very long time. And I love that bracelet. Love this bracelet very much. I have a 18 karat white gold bangle. This was a thrift store find. It is stamped and uh, quite cute. Love that bangle. It's sort of a, a square or an oval shape. And it's a brushed finish on that. I have a copper bracelet. I like copper as well. And this also has a little southwestern motif. I don't think you can see it, but it's got um, road runners and some cactus designs, different things like that on there. Pretty nice. Okay, then I have one of these. Uh, I think this is stainless steel, some kind of a David Yearman design. It's actually not by David Yearman, but it's uh, you know what he popularly puts out um, cable necklace or bracelet rather. Here's a really cute. I need to wear this. I haven't seen this in a while. Found this at a thrift store. This was oh my goodness, thrilling when I found this. It's sterling silver with 14 karat gold um, designs, little X's all around the front and that was completely stamped hallmarked italian 14 karat and sterling silver and that's a really really nice cable bracelet as well i think i'm gonna put that on i haven't worn that in so long i have this listed at my etsy shop this was uh, this is a sterling silver bracelet it reminds me of something people used to call me wonder woman when i would wear this for some reason because it's it gives off that powerful cuff vibe, and um, I do have the matching earrings for that. It also reminds me a little bit of a um, sand dollar. That is really cute. Okay, I have this beautiful mother of pearl cross pendant. This is a pendant and a brooch. It's mother of pearl. It's garnet in the middle, and as you can see, you can wear it as a pendant or a brooch. Uh, this is just a faux piece. I really like it though. It's sort of a mesh design and I think I have a larger one that I, that I wear together. I have a Mexican piece. This has all kinds of icons including the siesta guy in the middle there made out of jade. Very hefty piece. It's got this fabulous closure. This little bracket there that kind of closes very securely. It's extremely heavy hinged bracelet. Really pretty on as well. Nice and hefty. I like that uh, ethnic Frida Kahlo look. Just pile on all that uh, indigenous looking stuff. I have a couple of James Avery bracelets here. I have two silver and one 14 karat and I should have the other silver one here somewhere unless I only have two I may only have two I don't remember now I had a lot of James Avery pieces that have since been sold this is the braided and um, I used to just pile on the bangle look like that another great thrift store find this is a Native American piece a uh, tiny little cuff, but it fits me. 
and it's just a perfect blue turquoise color. It's also got some detailing on the side. And let me see what else I have here. I've got a beautiful sterling silver marcasite black onyx bracelet that my daughter gave me for one of my birthdays a few years ago. Love that. Super sparkly pretty. It's got that art deco look to it. Really like that. Then I also have um, I have a couple of these cameos. My sister gave me one that a customer of hers had, she was in banking, and a customer of hers had given it to her. And then another one I found, and this is a shell cameo, and it can be worn as a brooch or as a pendant. And that's one of them there. I have a starfish. This is listed on my at my Etsy shop, and I will put the, the link at the bottom. It's a starfish, or what do they call them now, sea stars. Nice and hefty piece. If you can see, let me see if I can fix my camera a little bit. There you go. It's a nice hefty little piece. And um, pretty heavy as well. Oh, let me see. Oh, this is a really pretty... Uh, watch band that I got with some turquoise on it. The watch just stopped working. I took it in about a month ago and the guy told me it was no longer working so I'll have to get a new watch put on there. But I love to um, pair that with the bracelet. They kind of complement each other when I'm in that mood. Love that. And that is the turquoise watch. I have another copper bracelet. This is just a bangle, cuff, cuff bangle there. Um, I, this is not marked, so I don't know if it's sterling silver. It's never rusted, never tarnished, so I'm thinking more stainless steel. And that's really cute. We've piled on with all my other ones. Now, oh, this is a super cute, I, I think it's Croft. C-R-O-F-T is the designer of this uh, piece. It's kind of a James Avery um, type jewelry house, or jewelry designer, rather. And this one is really cute. It's in a, um, what do you call it, sea motif, all kinds of sea creatures. The seahorse and the whale and turtle, a dolphin, and then a little school of fish right here. And that is really, really a cute piece. I really like that a lot. Okay, here are the earrings to the uh, bracelet, to the big Wonder Woman bracelet that I showed you. I have some really cute um, inlaid turquoise onyx earrings. These are really subtle as far as the, the the stones are on the side of the earring, so they look really, really nice. I have a an Italian. This is another buy from a thrift store. I think it was only like $5. Sterling silver Italian. Really heavy curb chain. An ID bracelet. I love that. And I had all these piled on for a while, but I kind of gave them a break. And uh, I'm doing another look right now. Let's see what else I have. Mm -hmm. Let's go to some rings. This is a fabulous ring I got off of eBay. It's got some Maximilian mini coins, and they just kind of dangle off of that pinky ring there. I just really like that. And each coin, it's supposedly the, the person that listed it told me they are genuine vintage coins. So they are stamped with uh, whatever monetary value on each side and I think I don't know if it's sterling silver because it's not marked it's never tarnished I'm thinking it's more 18 karat gold or 14 karat white gold any kind of white gold because they're just uh, you know like I said they've never tarnished on me so that's why I'm thinking more of that uh, this is a huge garnet ring with a little bit of 14 karat around the edges it kind of reminds me of a school class ring that's really a pretty piece. Uh, I have a, what do they call this, a bypass ring, Mexican ring. Really nice pointer ring. And a beautiful little Art Deco number my mom got me a couple of years ago. It's 
got a little turquoise and it's got a picture of a lady with uh, set off with marcasite. Then I have a pretty um, cabochon looking opal. Uh, this is another piece that I've had forever that I bought when I was young. It's uh, turquoise, coral, and um, onyx, mother of pearl as well. And this is um, this used to fit me on my pointer finger, but I guess I was a lot skinnier then because it's small now. All right, I have a Mexican sterling silver with uh, the Virgin Mary, the Virgen de Guadalupe in the middle there. This is gorgeous. I love this bean ring. Kind of reminds me of something from Tiffany and Company, but it's not. It's not stamped, and um, very hefty, chunky ring. I like that a lot. Notice I'm leaving some of this stuff on. I can't stop. Okay, a really pretty pinky turquoise ring. This is the prettiest robin blue I've ever seen. It's really pretty. And uh, it's gotten some patina in the middle so it really sets off that blue. Another vintage piece from my personal collections. For, uh, this is coral and turquoise. I mean, I'm sorry coral and sterling. And uh, let me see how that diamond ring is. Let me get that out. Oh, another one from that uh, disco era back when uh, everyone had turquoise. It's funny how turquoise never goes out of style. But that's a huge pointer ring. And I've had it probably 30 years. Really cute. Uh, let me see. Let me take some of these off so you can see. Oh, this is a turquoise piece that my sister got when we were in Colorado. Actually, uh, she got this one with the gold in the middle, and I got the other one. And somehow or another, I stayed with both of them. She doesn't really collect jewelry the way I do, and just doesn't remember everything that that you know we've had. And I kind of am the curator, I guess. All right, this is a tortoiseshell ring, another thrift store find. Really beautiful ring. I like that one a lot. Not stamped, but I'm sure it's sterling because it's been, uh, it just get you know, I just can tell by the look and the way it has uh, some tarnish on it over time. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, another really pretty blue stone ring. It's also stamped, but it's so small that I can't see if it's 18 karat. Rather, if it's white, gold, or sterling. It could be 18 or 14. Uh, a James Avery ring that my daughter gave me a couple of years ago. It's got some copper. Really like that. And sterling silver. Very nice floral. I like that a lot. Let me see. What else have I got here? Oh, here is a fire opal that I love. And I found it at a thrift store for about $30 a few years ago. It's a super bright orange. It's in a triangle shape. I forget what they call this cut. But that's really, really a pretty ring. And I've had its size. It was huge. And I used to wear it on my pointer ring and I wear it on the ring finger but it's so heavy that it kind of just falls okay and then okay here was the other one another thrift store find I think I may have showed this before it's sort of it looks like plastic in the middle I don't know it's some kind of a material that I don't recognize but it is stamped 14 karat white gold it's got a very pretty filigree setting and uh, it's got a teeny little diamond in the middle there and that has been tested. And I did get this at a thrift store for, I think, about $15 a long time ago. Love that. It's very, uh, it gives off a Victorian or a Art Deco vibe to me. Maybe Art Deco. I don't know. You'd have to tell me. But that's about it. I think I'm going to cut this video a little short so I don't go over. And I hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, my silver. We didn't get into the drawers. We'll do it next time. And I think I got a little 
poison carrot in there. Yeah, that's where I have those bangles I showed you last time. All right, thanks guys.